We are Ham Radio. Welcome back everybody, it's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm here to do a little instructional video by request. A lot of you that have mobile all-star nodes are connecting them to mobile hotspots from different carriers like T-Mobile or AT&T, and you're having issues getting them to connect, even outbound. Yeah, I had the same problem. I was using a T-Mobile hotspot. I've been using a FirstNet hotspot, which is uh, same as AT&T, and they would only connect to the parrot node. I'm like, what's up with that? I don't make any sense. Well, I worked it out with Jason, N8EI, over at the All-Star Link support group, and uh, we changed the registration of my All-Star node to IAX from HTTP, and everything worked. So I wanted to share it with all of you tonight so that you can get your mobile All-Star Link node that's using T-Mobile or AT&T and sometimes even Verizon to connect when you need it to. So let's jump into it. <laughs> We're going to log in to our All-Star Link node and get to that terminal. And the first thing we need to do before we get into that is go to allstarlink.org, go to our node settings under portal, and get the password to our node. This is 576332 and the password for it is password 2024 make a note of that and keep it handy so go sudo nano etsy asterisk iax dot conf well, the first thing we're going to do is come right down here to where it says register this last line that says register and we're going to uncomment that we're going to change 1998 to our node number in this case 576332 and we're going to change everything after the colon to the node password that we found in allstarlink.org. And then after that, we're going to go at register allstarlink.org, which is basically we're just going to leave it the way it is. Hit control X, yes to save, enter to exit. Then we're going to go to sudo nano etsy asterisk modules.conf. And we're going to scroll down here to resources where it says require equals res underscore repeat HTTP underscore registrations. We're going to change that word require to no load. Make sure there's a space between it and the equal sign and the equal sign and res because what we're doing here is preventing the HTTP registrations from loading. So we're going to hit control X, yes to save, enter to exit. And instead of just hitting sudo asterisk.sh, which we can totally do, but you know me, I really like to reboot stuff. Okay, our node is rebooted and since I don't have a radio attached to this node, then we've got to configure an IAX connection real quick. We're just going to come down here to the stanza that says IAX client and I'm going to change that to my call sign. And I'm going to take the secret here, which is in the big long cryptic letters, and I'm going to change it to something that I can remember. Control X, yes to save, enter to exit, and then I'm going to change extensions.conf. And I'm going to come down here to the IAX client stanza. 
and I'm going to change note up from the comma. I'm going to take all that out, hit underscore, and enough X's to match the number of digits in my node number. So 576332 is six digits. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then an exclamation point after that. Then on the next line, I'm going to change weight 10 to weight 1. Down here on node, I'm going to change that to EXTEN. And then the next line that says node, I'm going to change to EXTEN. And I'm going to take out the dash P. Dash P. And hit Control X, yes to save, enter to exit, and then do a sudo asterisk.sh and restart the asterisk server. So we need to put these credentials into our Android device and DB switch mobile since we don't have a radio attached to this node. Now since the port that I chose for an IA export is outside the normal range, 4560 to 4580, I've got to come in here to networking and put in add services, do custom ports, 4590 under TCP, 4590 under UDP. I'm going to change this to KD5FMU, hit edit service. And you can see here at the bottom that port is now allowed. Okay, so now we need to put that account on our DB Switch mobile app, and we're going to go to a blank spot and type in the host name. And in this instance, it is 192.168.1.166. We used a port of 4590. The username is KD5FMU. The password is capital P A S S W O R D 2024. Caller ID again is KD5 FMU. The node number in this case is 576332. And we're going to bring these audio levels down. Hit save. And you can see our red our account is already registered and we can connect. Connected to node 576332. And we can see what's connected to us. And as you can see, I'm connected to James to Jason's node, the 43136. And I can disconnect from it. Node 43136 disconnected. But I can come in here now and connect to my node. Connected to node 576332. Three, I can hit star 3, 4, 3, 1, 3, 6. Connected to. Node it's announcing five, my seven, node, six, three, my account three, connecting. Two. I can type in star 343136, hit send. Now I'm connected to seven, Jason's hub six, in three, Texas. Three, and it's just that easy, folks. So how's about that, huh? Good stuff, right? Well, now you can get your mobile All-Star Link node connected to the node that you desire on the go while being mobile in your vehicle. So, hey, have fun with it. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader, saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours, and ham on, y'all.